Let's go through how to set up your GLI net router running SDK 4.5 for the first time. SDK 4.5 is our latest firmware with an immersive suite of features and is supported by our newest routers such as Flint 2. To check if your GLI net router is compatible with SDK 4.5, go to dl.gl-inet.com and check if the firmware is available for your router. In this video, we'll be using Flint 2 our newest high-performance Wi-Fi 6 router, as an example for the setup. First, connect the power adapter to the router and plug it into a power outlet. Your router will automatically turn on. Next, connect your device, such as your computer or mobile device, to the router using Wi-Fi or Ethernet. To connect using Wi-Fi, search for your router's Wi-Fi network name in the list of available networks and enter the password. You can find the Wi-Fi network name and the password printed on your router's label. To connect using Ethernet, connect your device to the router's LAN port using an Ethernet cable. On your device, open a web browser and enter 192.168.8.1. You'll be taken to the router's admin panel. Select your preferred language, then click or tap Next. Create your admin password, then click or tap Apply. Next, connect your router to the internet using one of the four supported methods, Ethernet, repeater, tethering, and cellular. To connect using Ethernet, connect the Ethernet cable to your router's WAN port to an upstream device, which is usually your modem or primary router. If you're connected to the internet properly, you'll see a light blue dot appear next to Ethernet. To connect using repeater, a connection method using an existing Wi-Fi network, locate repeater and click or tap Connect. Select the Wi-Fi network you want to connect to. Enter the password, then click or tap Apply. If you're connected to the Internet properly, you'll see a light blue dot appear next to the name of the Wi-Fi network you chose earlier. To connect using tethering, connect your mobile device to the router's USB port using a USB 3.0 data transfer cable appropriate for the port on your mobile device. After that, go to your mobile device's settings to enable tethering. If you're using iOS, enable Personal Hotspot. For Android, enable USB tethering. Back in the Admin panel, under Tethering, you'll see your device selected in the drop-down menu. Click or tap Connect. If you're connected to the internet properly, you'll see a light blue dot appear next to tethering. To connect using cellular, if your GLI net router has a built-in SIM card slot, you'll only need a SIM card for this method. Power off your router, insert the SIM card into the router, and power on your router again. If your GLI net router doesn't have a built-in SIM card slot, like Flint 2, you'll need a SIM card and also a USB modem. Note that certain USB modems use the tethering method instead of cellular to connect. To use your USB modem, power off your router, insert the SIM card into the USB modem, and insert the USB modem into the router's USB port. Power on your router again. In the admin panel, the name of your carrier will appear. Click or tap Auto Setup if you see this option. If you're connected to the internet properly, you'll see the name of your carrier and a light blue dot appear next to it. You're now all set up to enjoy a seamless internet experience at your fingertips.